bonus grocery haul coming right up. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and typically I share a grocery haul every Saturday for my family for the upcoming week. But here lately, I've been just venturing out to a couple different places and just sharing that haul with you guys. A lot of it has been non-food items included and that's why I wanted to share them with you as we're getting into this holiday season, just to show you guys what's out there what I'm doing in my own home with my kids and hubby and all of that. So I know you guys are enjoying that, but I wanted to go ahead and share this one with you guys because I don't know if I've ever shared a Sprouts grocery haul. So this one doesn't have any like holiday or Christmas, anything like that in it as far as non-food, but I still wanted to share it with you guys because it was my first time kind of going in, didn't have a list really. We were looking for a couple items and then I just brought home some extra goodies. So I figured I would share this with you guys. Sprouts is not very far from my house at all and I was in there with my husband, Mark, but my oldest daughter, I feel like, would love a lot of stuff that's in there. So I'm gonna try to take her maybe in a couple weeks or beginning of November or something like that. She's really stocked up on enough food in the house for a while. So I'm thinking maybe the beginning of next month we'll go in there and she can take a look because they had a lot of vegan friendly items that I think she would enjoy and want to try. So I am going to uh, pop up the prices for each individual item. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay guys, I went back and forth <laughs> whether to share this or not, but I figured, you know what? You guys asked for all the hauls. I'm going to share all the hauls. So I went into Sprouts with my husband, Mark, for, what are we going for? We went in for pomegranates because I needed those for this week and I couldn't find them anywhere else. We went in for the Lakanto drops, like the liquid drops instead of the powdered, or not powdered, but the granular sugar. Mark likes to use that in his coffee and he keeps it at his office where he works. And then we were also looking for some kind of like no sugar better for you gum for him. I know I just picked up gum for him, but I'm gonna end up keeping that one in my car because the kids like gum as well. And he was looking for just a little healthier version for himself for him to keep in his car. So. That's what we went in for and this is what we came out for. I don't know if I've ever actually been inside a Sprouts before. I know I've been in a Whole Foods, but I don't know if I've been in a Sprouts. This was a little pricey for the number of items that I got, but I am gonna go ahead and price pop up the individual prices so you guys can see. I know for sure Paige would probably love going in this store. So maybe in a couple weeks, I'll take her. But I was really happy with some of the things that we found. So we're gonna go ahead and start down here. We did pick up sushi. So Pearl and Paige are actually gonna have this for lunch today. Got the spicy California roll for Pearl. And you can see there, I'll still pop up the price, but $7.99 for that. And this is, this got quite a few in there. It's a big pack. And then the veggie roll for Paige, $6.99. They had quite the variety. So got those. Then of course, they had actually a ton of pumpkin spice items, but I just picked up two, actually three, that I thought I would enjoy and that the kids might enjoy as well. So I picked up these pumpkin spice snaps. I'm gonna put them in our little cookie container on the counter. You can see there it's 8.8 .8 ounces and it does say limited time, time offer and they are peanut free. So if you guys have any kind of allergy, I thought that was nice to point out. So I got that. And then I saw this almond butter pumpkin spice. I'm actually really excited to try that. I know it's not focusing. There's a pretty bad glare on it there, but it is a 12 ounces and it's just a creamy almond butter. It does have sprouts, quite a few things. I think that we picked up I have the Sprouts brand or maybe just a couple are Sprouts. All right, and then I saw this yogurt and I love yogurt. It's just something quick and easy in the morning and this one says pumpkin and spice. So I don't know how to pronounce that. Siggy's, is that what it is? But it's just an Icelandic cream, strained low fat yogurt, 2% milk fat milk fat and it does say seasonal. So I picked that up to try. Um, the kids really love the Zevia kids. It's like a healthier version of, I don't, it's like soda. It says naturally flavored sparkling drink. Zero sugar, zero calories. It's got the little Mickey on there. But they've tried two of the other flavors, the pump, 
the fruit punch and the what is it some kind of lemonade one strawberry lemonade maybe i've never seen the orange cream so i think that they would like to try this i got that six cans in there then this is something my husband picked up for maybe making himself a lunch for work or something it says four grams of carbs 20 calories per serving and it's the palmini hearts of palm linguini so he got that got this for Paige. She had nutritional yeast on her list. We have a little whiteboard on the back of our pantry door and whenever anybody runs out of something or they think of something they want, they write it down. And she had this written down. Now she didn't have the seasoning, but I couldn't find nutritional yeast anywhere. So we went ahead and got this one, gluten-free, vegan. It's kind of like a cheese substitute sort of. That's what she uses it for, just additional flavoring. So hopefully she will enjoy that. Okay, you guys, so I have been getting my collagen from Perfect Keto forever. I really, really love it. It was the first collagen that I found that I liked, that didn't taste chalky or have a weird aftertaste. And I put a scoop in my coffee every single morning. However, I don't know what they did when they changed things over, but I am signed up for their like monthly thing. So they send me one every month, but their container doesn't last a month. And then shipping takes over a week. So I'm out of my collagen for a good week and a half, sometimes two weeks at a time. And I can definitely tell when I'm not taking my collagen. My nails break, I start, you know, my face starts breaking out a little bit. And the time of the month doesn't help with that either. I've always had a small case of adult acne, but I definitely tell a difference when I'm taking collagen and my hair. Like my hair falls out more when I'm not taking the collagen versus when I am. So I went ahead and picked up one to try. Hopefully I like this. I've heard a lot of good things about the Primal Kitchen brand. So again, I'm hoping that this works. And then if it does and I enjoy this, there's no like chalkiness in my coffee or awful aftertaste, then I'm just gonna start buying this because the Sprout store is not very far from my house at all. So I'll cancel the perfect keto and then I will just pick this up. And I feel like this is gonna last. This is a big container. So I feel like this is gonna last longer than a month. They had a chocolate one and a peanut butter, but I'm all about the vanilla because I can mix it in with pretty much any flavor coffee. So I got the vanilla coconut collagen fuel for hair, skin, and nail support. So I'm excited to try that. Okay, you guys, they had so many different, I actually have them further away, but they had a lot of different Rayos products. So I did get two of the soups for me to try because I love soups, especially as we're going into the cooler weather temperatures. So I got the Rayo's made for home Italian style slow simmered soup, vegetable minestrone. And then down here, it's the same thing, Italian styled, Italian style slow simmered soup, pasta and fajoule. So I'm really excited to try these. I feel like I'm really going to like them. You guys, eggnog. So eggnog was not I haven't seen eggnog like as the drink yet, but they did have a small little end cap with like a Christmas theme. And this is eggnoggin, an exceptional winter tea, black tea. I thought this would be interesting to try. So I did pick that up. Another quick breakfast option for me. I love overnight oats. Nobody else in the family really does. They don't like the texture of it, but I'm a huge fan. So I did pick these three up for me to try. I'll have Paige look at them and see if she wants to give one a try, but these were the three flavors. So it's brekkie with ancient grains, overnight oats, blueberry. This one is banana and maple brown sugar. And then this one down here is apples and cinnamon. And as you can see, it's got the oats and then the fruit that they've got mixed in it. That looks, that looks really good. Sometimes I eat them cold and sometimes I will just pop them in the microwave and heat them up a little bit. For Paige, I did get a small bag of the organic chickpea snacks, the hippies and the vegan white cheddar. She really loves that. And then I also picked this up for her. This morning she was asking me what kind of breakfast stuff we had. And she has a few options, but not many. And I just happened to see this, so I thought she might want to try it. It's Cedar Lane Simply Plant Powered Ranchero Tofu Scramble. It is vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, and it has 20 grams of protein. So I picked that up for her. I don't know if she would eat, this is a pretty good size. It is 14 ounces. I don't know if she would eat this whole thing, but she could have it maybe as a dinner instead of breakfast. Then she could eat the whole thing or just half it one, one morning and then half the next, something like that. I also, because I haven't been taking collagen for over a week now, I saw these waters and I wanted to try them out. So I picked up the two flavors that I found. They are Vital Proteins Collagen Water. 
This one is the blackberry hibiscus and then the strawberry lemon. They both have 10 grams of collagen and only three grams of sugar. So I did pick that up. Like I said, I definitely notice a difference when I do have collagen in my diet and then versus when I don't. So I like to make sure that I'm getting that in. I am not a health nut by any means. I do not do the best for my body, but I do know that when I'm taking collagen, my body reacts really good versus when it's not. These are two things that Mark picked up for him. These are Red's Egg Witch. It does say keto up there on the top there. Egg Witch Breadless Sandwich. So this one is the turkey sausage. So he picked that up. Just a quick breakfast option for him during the work week. This one is chicken apple sausage. So he picked both of those up. My pomegranates, like I said, I needed some pomegranates, so I got two. And then Mark saw the avocados and picked up, we do have maybe one or two in the fridge, but he wanted some to last the week. So he picked up four avocados. Then I am a snacker. I don't really make myself like a big breakfast or a lunch or anything like that. I snack in between doing things, running errands and all of that. So these type of things just work good for me and I definitely pay more for them, but it's really the only way I eat really other than dinner. So I did pick up a couple packages of like the meat and cheese trays. This one is Naturals on the Go. It's got salami, provolone cheese, and tarali bread. I don't know. That just looked really good. So I picked that up. This one is uncured Italian salami, Monterey Jack cheese, and then crackers. So I got that one. And then this one is uncured Italian salami again with white cheddar and then dried cherry. So I just love having these on hands for on the go eating or here at home when I'm super busy. Okay. I saw this they had a couple different versions. I picked up this one. This one looked like it might be good for a quick breakfast option for me. It is spinach, egg, and potato omelet. Enjoy cold or hot. I don't know if I would eat this cold. I feel like I'm gonna heat it up. But it is free range eggs, potatoes, spinach, onions, and a little olive oil. And I think that is it. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then I also saw these, so I picked this up. And this has the Sprouts brand on it as well. There's four in here and they are ham and Swiss cheese omelet bites. Velvety egg bites filled with Swiss cheese, onion, and diced ham. So got those. Here's the other Rayos that I saw, and these were like two for something. I don't remember what, but again, I'm popping up the prices. So I got the Rayos homemade elbow macaroni, and then the Rayos homemade spaghetti. So I'm excited to try these. We love having just noodles on hand for quick meals or pasta. And then they had a couple different flavorings of these pickles, but my daughter Pearl loves pickles, and I thought this would be something interesting to just pop in her lunchbox and see how she likes it. And if she does, maybe I'll pick up a couple more or I'll keep my eye out at other stores and see if they have any kind of like snacking pickles for her. But they're called Rick's Picks Snacking Pickles. And these are the cumin lime dill pickle spears. You can see it's just a small little bag, 2.2 ounces. But again, I did pick that up for Pearl. I think they had a spicy one and then a garlic one. So I got that one for her to try. I thought that might have more like a taco maybe because of the cumin, I don't know. But that is everything that I picked up for a quick little impromptu run into Sprouts. I definitely um, want to go back and kind of look more. We didn't really go through like the meat section or anything like that. We were just looking for like just quick little things to have on hand. So I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. All right, you guys, so that was my little impromptu Sprouts grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you love grocery hauls. I've got several coming up for you guys. And again, I do share one every single Saturday. So I'll definitely see you back here on Saturday with another grocery haul. However, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure this is going up on a Thursday. So tomorrow, I am going to be sharing another crock pot recipe for Crocktober. So I will see you guys in that video.